Well, hey team, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Rogue State Revolution. It's the game we're looking at today, uh, I guess a revisit because we have covered this before. However, we've looked at Deep Sixed recently, which is a really cool, interesting sort of space station management game. Um, and it's by the same company. And I thought, oh, let's have a look at this again. I really, really enjoyed this when it came out. Listen to this anthem, it's so good. So. It, it touts itself as a sort of roguelike sort of colony cabinet management game. Though the roguelike is questionable because the, the, the sort of run length is hours and it starts to, you start to just think, well, why isn't this just a normal, you know, like, can you call a Civ game that goes for eight hours roguelike? I don't know. Um, so I'm a bit questionable on that. Uh, a big part of it is dealing with your uh, different cabinet members and all these different sort of principalities or cities or whatever you'd like to call them in this pseudo Middle East setting um, and and keeping everybody happy from all their different cultural backgrounds and, and different interests and, and wants and trying not to get assassinated. I think there's some weird Groundhog Day time loop story components, um, but I you know, it's kind of not that big a deal. Let's go. New game. How are you feeling today? Teach me how to play. You experienced your inauguration day enough times that you don't want the morning brief, you want revenge. Explain cryptocurrency to me. You're a min-maxing statistical tyrannosaur. Yeah, I, I like that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's just do this one. Let's just do the middle one. Okay. Storyline, always play. Sure, news, subtitles, cool, gentle start. Uh, no, that's cheating. All of this is cheating. Uh, let's just leave everything on default. Challenging, 134%. Okay, whatever, that sounds good. Cool. Uh, a proud day for Basenji. Shall we add uh, your surname to the history books? We absolutely will, and it will be Gronk. All right. Cool. Oh man, this is going to be good. Hopefully uh, we can pick it up going straight back in. 32 to 2012. Basenji was ruled by the Salman family for 80 years with the support of the United States and other Western powers until the Basenji revolution of 2012. Under King Adnan, whatever. That's fine. I wasn't reading it anyway, game. Fuck you. Um, I guess we're loaded. Well, that ended badly. Yep. Do I click? I'll click. Somebody must have poisoned my tea. I bet it was the janitor. I see how he looks at me. Inauguration day. Again. This time I must do better. Uh, I'll click In on the television. I love this FMB. Let's go. Jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. Yes. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji. Yeah, let's go, Basenji. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. Nice. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned representing a wide political spectrum, yeah. with the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Okay, that must be me. Come in. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives yes. from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members this is are so constitutionally good. protected. They it takes me back to like command and office. conquer. Indeed, you will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side. Yes. No matter what. Yes. No, exactly. Both valid points. Oh, look, there they are. They look pretty chad in their pictures. I, I really like this art. It's quite wonderful. Um, okay, so you appoint your cabinet. Uh, so they're the only slots that they're able to fill. And I don't think I can fill every single cabinet slot. I'm only going to be able to pick a couple of advisors to get the ball rolling, I believe is how it works. 
I, 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 I think I remember this dude. He cracked the sands because I didn't look after it. See, they've got this little symbol. That's their like uh, home province culture. And if you don't, you know, sort of look after him, then you get, you get scenarios where the minister will stop answering your phone calls. So like he, he just shuts down comps and you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I need to build things. And it's like, nah, I'm in the head of, I'm the head of infrastructure. Get stuffed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ministry of Development. Let's, okay, let's look at that. So those two can go there. So can he. All right, what's going on here? Popular, selfish. Um, pious, tactless. Frugal and cunning. Uh, how about we go with you? We'll put you in there. All right. Let's get a Ministry of Defense. Who can we put in? We can put in that bloke, that bloke. Well, that's pretty much it. Inspiring and in poor health. Resourcefulness. Resourceful and a moron. A oh, bugger. Let's put this guy. This guy. Oh, conservative secular as well. So you've got to be careful with all that. Got to balance that. Whatever. I'm just jamming him in. Ministry of Finance. What's this dude's go? Maverick. Siphons quantities from the, the treasury every month. Nah, let's put this bloke in. So it looks like there's a whole bunch of ministers. Might maintain control as long as you can. Right, okay, so there's your sort of roguelike meta upgrade path. Ministry of Resources. What's to go with you? Addict? Oh, and a philanthropist, right? Pious, tactless, whatever, you can go in there. There you go, so that's all you're allowed to have. So I don't really have those unlocked. You can unlock them as you go through, but that's whatever, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, cool. Oh man, it's cool to be back to this game. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Why do you have exclamation marks? Missing road uh, connection to power plants or plastic factories that demand our product. Okay, so this is an oil refinery, and this is a power plant. Missing road connection to any oil supplies. So you get X actions per turn, right? And that involves all sorts of things. And then these are all the states of all the different sort of provinces, right? Well, they're, they're actually called provinces. That's cool. Now, we've got UN camps that help us. They generate aid. Um, they're a good little start because we're in that transitional stage of, of going from you know essentially uh, well it was a monarchist regime wasn't it i think they said monarchy ruled for like 80 years so the un camps you actually want to delete as soon as possible but for the moment whatever focus on the palace so that's my seat of power can train certain dudes resources that's right. And then you can send dudes to inspect areas for efficiency because corruption becomes rife. Anyway, it's a, it's a really good melting pot of a game. Anyway, so what we're going to do is build a road. So oil into power. Okay, so build roads. Hang on. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Built road for B2. Now, can I just keep building roads or is it going to use up more of my moves? I think they're my moves there. Three out of four. I think I can just build infinite roads if I choose to build roads this segment, if that makes sense. Looks like we've got more than enough power generation, right? We've got oil going to the power plant. Very good. Very good, very good. Everyone's green at the moment. Well, oh no, sorry, that's just your faction is green. Cool. What's going on over here? What is this about? Oh, we can connect to the uh, our neighbor. That's right, we've got to deal with our neighbors and immigration and all that sort of stuff. Look, can I just build roads to there and no dramas, no problems? Yeah, it doesn't seem to be using up any points. All right, it is using money wherever my bloody money is. But I think maybe let's just commit to the road situation. Where is my money? A provincial overview. Oh, there it is, 129, right. 
let's just yeah let's just get everything connected if we can help it yeah now I think that all the regions should be connected in some way okay that's fine and there's our neighbors on our borders and we we have an ocean border I think yeah okay cool all right let's see who how can we keep people happy so Saba Saba needs health all right we've got our approval rating and all that as well diplomacy budget review it's even though there's a lot of buttons it's not that complicated once you get the hang of it um what we want to do is construction um what do we have available? I want something for healthcare, so that'll be hospital. Health access. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Time machine. <laughs> Laser. Let's go. All right, hospital. So you can see there that it's going to take money. It's going to use power. It's going to use up job slots. So we've got workers available. Um, and also, what is, what is that cycling button i don't know what that must be perhaps that's upkeep that sounds sensible okay cool uh it has to be adjacent to a town one per town so we'll put one next to here el hassa there we go look at that healthcare loves it loves it and i think if we click on it you can see here health buildings plus one other regional budget. That's right, you can adjust your budget. Um, how do we do that? That's a big part of it actually, is your budget allocation. There is a budget screen, uh, it occurs to me. Commodity price, review budget. Here we go, this. So you can put more money into each area of their economies. Um, but if you sort of overlook a region, they get the shits because, you know, they're all a bit competitive. Let's see if we can. So this is obviously going to hurt our passive income. Okay, let's go with that. Let's give them some more subsidies. And then we'll put Rumai up. Yeah, now you can get in all sorts of trouble for lowering stuff that gives them the shits. But also if you put something up and then revoke it, they'll crack the, sh the shits as well. Confirm changes. Um... Okay, cool. So that won't take effect until next turn. We've got one turn left. Diplomacy. So you can sort of handle your export system with the other countries. Um, and we've also got resource production and demand. It doesn't look like our cities are demanding anything that we can't produce at the moment. But getting our food production up would be good. You can see there that that's where the food comes from. UN aid camps and agricultural fields. At the moment, the aid camps will produce up to 90 food. So we could start trying to phase them out or we could push them all the way to the limit. It's an interesting thought. I'm not 100% sure. Not 100% sure. What do we do with our last action point? We've got intelligence there. Oh, look, there's our population. You can get an idea of what's going on, what they want, all that sort of thing. Um, we already played with the budget. What we can do is go to the palace. Now, hang on, what's this? Cycle through our refineries, power plants. Go to the palace, and we could just train... Um, let's train a journalist. Trigger an immediate event inside a city. They're usually positive. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let's do that. I can barely afford it. No, actually, we'll do a resource surveyor. All right, because they're kind of helpful. Civilian units with no orders assigned. Now, can I just 
tell you to auto pass. Yeah, see, I don't have the points for him. Remote unit. Hold here. Survey adjacent tiles. Expedite. So what we ultimately want to do is move him out to those spots there. Okay, cool. Next turn. Let's go. All right. Excellency, some geocaches. Jeez, I haven't thought about that in years. Is that still a thing? That was quite a little phase. Exploring our mountain ranges stumbled upon a deeply disturbing find, a mass grave inside a cave network. Estimated to be at least 20 years old, there are several hundred bodies that have been uncovered so far, mostly Karifi. Mm. We need to reunite our people with the remains of their loved ones, so the Karifi are going to get the shits. We can't afford to agitate tensions, keep this suppressed for now, so we can roll the dice. You know what, let's just be up front, let's just be up front with it, right? The Karifi aren't going to be very happy, but, you know, no secrets. Okay. Greeting Excellency. My name is Prime Minister Rashid Nazarian of the Free States of Axtijan. I think they're our southern neighbour. Congratulations on your recent election. The people have chosen wisely by making you the head of their state. Now, two nations have a proud history of mutual cooperation, so please don't hesitate to contact me for anything that you might need. Right. Right. Negotiate trade. Set immigration quota. S establish how many immigrants will be permitted to arrive legally. If the demand exceeds the number of permitted immigrants, some may attempt to cross our borders and settle in cities illegally. Mm. Negotiate trade. Let's talk about trade. I'm not really generating any resources, am I? So import, cancel. You know what, let's just end the call for the moment. Okay, how are we looking? Well, it looks like our subsidies and all that are starting to even out a bit. Hmm, okay. Surveyor, I think he already has his marching orders. Excellency. And if I move him, it doesn't cost an action. Yeah, he'll move on his own, but surveying will cost him something. Um, our money's gone down. Next month we're anticipated to lose. Mmm, that's no good. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do about that? We need to generate income. Trade is probably the smart move. Let's see. So if we go to diplomacy. Chikenistan. <laughs> okay. Um... Consumer electronics, right? Processed food. Okay. Does anyone... All right, Chikanistan needs food. That's interesting, actually. So we might potentially try and scale up our food production anyway because we want to phase out the UN sort of position there. Um, and then maybe trade surplus to Chikanistan. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. All right, so it's as simple as having agricultural fields. So construction, agricultural field. Actually, what was the, uh, there you go. So it's gonna cost me 30 bucks and upkeep power and jobs. Well, here's the real problem is like, we're not generating a lot of, we're not generating any money from like any trade, which is something we probably wanna do. Market, prosperity, immigrant approval. So we, let's go through this again. Prosperity. See the aid camps hurting our prosperity. Current rating and its trend direction. I'm pretty sure our prosperity can generate income. Economic health. A lot of things outside of our control can affect the monthly revenue. Yep, yep, yep. Tourism data. Commodity prices. Mm. Keep an eye on that market. All right. Let's... Uh... Yeah, I don't like that we don't have any money. So we might have to adjust the budget to fix that. 
and we need we need to scale our economy. So let's have a look here. Um, agricultural fields. Oh, mine. Hang on. It's for domestic use and export. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oil refinery. Smelter. Yeah, it's all production chain stuff. Um, one one thing we need to wonder about is education, environment. Rural approval, right? So our rural approval will go up. Now, how do we narrow that down? Here we go, rural. Saba, maybe? But is our rural approval lower because we have a less rural population? Or well, it's hard to it's hard to tell at a glance. Okay. Which one's Saba? Purple. Alright. Environment. Okay. Let's build agricultural farm in Saba. It's got to be in grasslands. I've got rivers over here. All right, we'll have to connect it up with the road. Built road. Um, we're gonna to have to review our budget. Public safety. Who's got my most approval? You, Karif. Cutting provincial budgets in a province so soon after raising them will be a very unpopular decision. Fuck, who didn't I raise? Banfa? Banfa Public Safety. Health. Total negative seven. Oh my god. I really kind of fucked up doing this, didn't I? Bugger it. We're going to bring it back. Four. I'm just going to have to take the hit, to be honest, and reset them. Uh, zero. Conservation in Banfa. Yeah, let's do that. Confirm changes. Oh, that's going to hurt me. And then we've got a free action point, and I don't know what we can do. Change a policy direction. All right, hang on. How do I change my policies? I don't know, it might be a button that I haven't unlocked yet. Perhaps? Not sure. Construct roads, build civilian unit special actions, engage in diplomacy. Yeah, we're just going to end. I can't remember. I think there's a bonus of leaving a turn unused. I can't remember specifically. All right. Faith leaders in the city of El Hassa have been assaulting tourists that have been dis disrespectful of our culture and customs. Uh, the impact to our tourism interest, industry can't be ignored as foreign media outlets are advising travellers to avoid Basenji. Arrest the faith leaders. Religious approval will drop. Yep, nobody assaults tourists but me. True. True. Okay. 
All right, we're in the black. We're going to break even on the budget. We're generating a shit tin of food now. We're generating excess, in fact, actually. So let's go. Let's talk to Chicani Stan. Oh my god, they're literally chicken people. Negotiate trade. I'll send you food. What if I do this? I can't send more than I can physically send. Propose. Book, book, book. Okay. End call. Is that working? So, does the chicken talk or? I think it just clucks and they pretend they understand what it's saying. Yeah. So this is what? A big joke? Everybody's in on it? Yeah, but they're so in on it that it's not a joke anymore. Okay. How long do chickens live? I think they just replace the chicken every few years and hope nobody notices. <laughs> Fair enough. I would notice. I would. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, sure, okay. So, oh, there we go. We actually are exporting food. Fine, that's good. That's going to help. Oh, you can see here our economic health is going to increase significantly because of that, or at least it's projected to. Um, environment, I would love to increase the environment in Saba via construction if possible. Um, God, it's hard to know. Governance, society, energy. All right, none of these actually seem to give... Oh, no, hang on. In the, so, okay, that hurts the environment. So does that. Okay, well, that's fine. Rural approval, I suppose. Prosperity. If you build them a seaport, they will prosper. Well, that makes sense. Oh, here you go. What is this? Nature preserve. Okay. What else have we got? Okay, so nature preserve would be the move. <sighs> but I'd need 60 bucks to do that. Now, what's this? Anticipated a game between 7 and 13. Okay, well, that's going okay. Um, I mean, bugger it. We're just going to skip forward and lose our turns. I, I don't think you have to use it. That's right, my little civilian's going up to scout. There, my little surveyor. Excellency, the Basenji Free Press had just published a disturbing investigation revealing how UN food aid is being re-exported to our neighbours in trade. Oh, fuck, they're on to me. <laughs> this is a bad look. I don't think I can cover it up. <laughs> Total approval in Basenji. Dismiss the article as biased journalism. <laughs> Shit. They've, they're on to me. They're on to me. Oh, no. Okay, well, we're going to have to do something about it. <laughs> Fuck. Immediately Scarlet's like, I could make money this way. Bust it. Um, agricultural field cost me 30 bucks. Fuck. I need like a, a loan. Issue bonds. Borrow 200 bucks from private lenders with a disgusting retake, uh, repayment. Sure. Sure. Let's go. We need to scale up. Construction. Agricultural. Oh, let's... How is our approval? Saba. Saba still doesn't like me, eh? But I gave you a farm, you fuckers. God damn it. All right, where are the jobs required? Benifa. Yeah, is this farm a bloody a joke to you?
Food production, corruption, goods sold. What does this little truck button do? Oh, you ignore things? I don't want that. Conduct special inspection. Oh, they must have patched it because it used to be that you actually had a dude to manually move around for the inspection and it was kind of shit and fiddly. So I'm glad that they fixed that. Um, let's get our surveyor. Survey adjacent tiles. Let's go, buddy. Hey, look at this. Bauxite. Nice. Let's get him moving out there. Well, surely we can build like a bauxite mine and start something going on there. Uh, mine. Build a road. Get it on the network. It needs to go to a smelter. Yeah. That demands our product. Um, jobs, 36. Karyak and Runami. Maybe we, is it gonna be a problem if we put it a bazillion miles away? I'm not sure, to be honest. Let's find out. What should we produce? Gold bars, aluminium out of bauxite. Missing roads connecting to a manufacturing plant that demands our product. Ah, hang on. So we just need to get our head around that. Bauxite to a manufacturing plant. Benifa suddenly has 39. Worker slots available. Uh, let's build a manufacturing plant there. Oh, I'm out of moves, whatever. Go next turn. Oh, setting this up is tough. Actually, I think I can export uh, bauxite and all that as well. So if I've got excess, I'll, I will set that up. Excellency, the province of Sabah is seeking additional funds to develop a task force to find and dismantle explosive devices being found in rural communities, likely remnants of the Basenji Revolution. Approve the expense. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Ten bucks a month, though. Oh, my God. Fuck. I've made a misstep there. My constituents are requesting a museum in the province of Sabah, right? So we need to keep him and his constituents happy, so we'll probably have to deal with that. So now it's starting to starting to pile up but also yeah if we were to check diplomacy you can see that there are dudes that will actually want things like gold ore no one actually wants bauxite which is interesting so we have to turn it into something yeah you can see some of them will export bauxite but i can't actually give it to them myself cool a lot of plates to spin. It's a great game. It's obviously a slow burn. It's not going to be for everyone, but I'm a big fan. Anyway, let me know if you want to see some more on the channel. Otherwise, I might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.